Hey guys, well hope everyone's having a good day today. We're just uh, out splitting some wood. Got uh, about half of it split now. And uh, just thought I'd share with you my wood splitter. It's uh, I purchased it at TSE, uh, the tractor supply company. They're fairly big down in the States and they're slowly working their way up into Canada. Um, there's four or five now maybe in Ontario. Um, I bought this one up in New Liskard, Ontario. Um, about nine years ago now so I've been using it uh, every year for nine years uh, my neighbor uses it we uh, use a barter system so I lend him my wood splitter and he lets me use his garden tiller every spring so kind of a trade-off uh, you know if it's just sitting around someone may as well use it so let's go have a look and I'll uh, share some things that I like and don't like about it so here's the splitter. It's a Spico Split Master. It's a 22 ton. Right uh, down there. Hopefully you can see that. 22 ton. I keep this old uh, Rubbermaid tote on it just to help keep uh, stuff out of the motor. You can see the motor uh, looks to be in just about perfect condition. It's a uh, Briggs and Stratton 6.5. Uh, most people are familiar with them. They're in, uh, you know, lawnmowers and all that sort of good stuff. It's got a decent cylinder. I forget what the uh, the opening is. I'm going to say 22 inches, 24 inches. From uh, this point here back to the foot. Um, I think this mark here is 16 inches. So you've got at least another six inches. So anyways, 20, 20 inches guaranteed. Um, pretty good cylinder. I've uh, only had to change one hose on it and that was my fault. Um, something fell and, uh, and busted it off right there. So I got an actual um, better quality hydraulic hose for it. You can, uh, Pull this pin out right here, like that, and the uh, the whole thing will stand up. It stands up stands up uh, without any real issues um, you you can get uh, big blocks down there roll them down there and split them so you're not busting your back it's got a detent in it so it automatically goes back and then once it's retracted all the way then it'll go back to neutral and then uh, spring applied forward so that's kind of nice that uh, when it's retracting, you can grab another log and get back on it. The tank is down in the axle area, the hydraulic tank. Uh, I think it holds right around five gallons. It's got some small, uh, I call them wheelbarrow tires, but I guess they are trailer tires. There's nothing special about them. That's your vent. And it's got a dipstick for checking your oil. It's got a two inch trailer coupler. There's the, uh, the pump and the oil filter underneath the motor. I upgraded my uh, filter. Um, I needed to change the filter housing our filters the element itself so I got a whole new assembly um, you can see that hose has a slight twist in it I really should put a new one on but that's just the uh, suction line so it's not too bad it's uh, rated at 22 ton it uh, splits through anything I've put it through um, <clears throat> I've been concerned about the motor and uh, it keeps going one summer I was splitting and it was uh, it was probably in the 30s anyways and uh, what I would do is I'd split 
run out of gas and then I'd stop and have a drink, refuel it and then go back again. And uh, it seized up on me. It just went to a dead stop and I thought, oh, maybe I didn't fill it up. But um, I had a hard time pulling it over. So I just let it sit for probably the weekend and then I went back to it and it fired right up. So it's been going ever since. So anytime I lend it to someone, I always tell them, you know, just make sure the oil's all right. And, uh, you know, if something happens, something happens. And it's been going great since. So something I don't really like about it is this channel right here. It's a C channel and it's pretty flimsy. I wish they would have went to um, something a little beefier, even if they would have went with a 4x4. Four four. Um, I think that would have made it much stronger. Obviously the... Uh, the drop down jack wouldn't have worked quite the same because it folds up underneath and you just take this pin out here and put it down in there so it's kind of nice but uh, it um, another thing that I think it could use and you could probably put one on yourself is a set of wings on each side so that you can lay the log up on it and um, and do that some wings you know maybe a foot out just some grading but uh, to be honest it's not the end of the world once you get some logs piled up around by the tire um, the wood just sits there and all I do is I pile it I'll stick the bigger piece like this piece here I would stick up by the motor and uh, cut the other stuff up and then when I was done with it then I would uh, grab that big piece so not the end of the world um, this thing split probably a uh, good 500 cord since I bought it and other than the hose that I did um, I can't blame the wood splitter on that so other than that hose and a filter um, it really doesn't owe me anything I change the engine oil every year because every year it does 40 cord of wood so <clears throat> I don't like the uh, the dipstick because the breather is just a small hole and water can get down into it. Um, I have another dipstick, or not a dipstick, but a, a vent, but it's like a mushroom cap and it sticks up fairly high and I'm always worried that it's going to break off if a log or something falls on it. So um, Another thing, I probably wouldn't tow this on a road, like at highway speeds. Um, I pull it behind my gator when I bring it down to the neighbors or anything like that, moving it around the yard. Um, it does really well. You get, uh, oh, a good hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours on a tank of gas, which uh, is pretty reasonable to me. So all in all, I think I have, uh, I think it cost me about 1500 bucks with tax here in Canada. So that's something like 50 bucks in the U.S., probably about a thousand bucks in the US I guess um, by the time you deduct the taxes and the, and the uh, dollar exchange so um, I bought it knowing that I was probably gonna break it and my jobs allow me to have the resources to fix it for relatively cheap you know whether it's a welder or just getting a hose um, so that's kind of nice and to be honest I haven't had any issues so for the nine years that I've had it, this thing's just been top notch. And um, I don't see why I can't get a few more years out of it. Um, I always keep an eye on the motor. I'm always making sure that it gets, uh, I check the oil on it every time I use it. Not just at the beginning of the year, but every single time. And uh, you just run it. It's a basic system, so it doesn't really require any high tech gizmos and gadgets. I guess if you wanted to get fancy you could put a pressure gauge on it to see how much actual force is coming out uh, you could put a pressure gauge on the uh, the pressure lines and, and do some math uh, but in all honesty at 22 tons pushes through all my uh, wood no problem um, birch will give it uh, a bit of a struggle once in a while and you can just hear it dr drop down and kind of plug through it and it pops it. So um, that's about it. I, I think if you're in the market for one, it's worth looking at. Um, obviously, you can build one far better. Uh, but for the price and for someone who maybe doesn't have the skills or the tools or the time, 
it's a pretty good deal as far as I'm concerned. Um, that's the reason I bought it was I just didn't have the time to build a wood splitter to scrounge valves and tanks and motors. And uh, I don't like to put junk on stuff that I'm just going to have to repair. So um, I bought one. It, it's uh, paid off so far. And uh, I just thought I would share it with you guys. So if you're in the market for one, uh, check one out at TSC. Uh, I'm sure there's other places that sell this brand. I've seen other ones with a different brand that are identical. So I'm sure that they're going to be just as good. So um, don't feel like you got to build one go out and buy one they're just uh they're pretty simple and they're durable so cheers guys and uh i got lots of splitting to do we'll see you after so one thing i forgot to mention about it is uh, it starts really well um, i hit the primer ball three times maybe four times and usually one pull she fires right up um, it's it's been a dynamite little engine um, briggs uh, kind of get a bad rep for small engines but uh, so far so good and uh, it, like I said it's been pretty good on fuel I always get uh, at least an hour to two hours on a tank of solid splitting I keep my splitter as close to the wood pile as I can get it so that I'm not walking I'm just split 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 run out of gas I stop fill it up have a good drink of water wipe the sweat if I'm sweating and uh, get back at it so I just thought I would share that and uh, check them out.